Well, this is embarrassing. I just went to iSideWit.com <clears throat> and I answered all their many questions. To, and I thought I was voting for Jeb Bush, but I'm not. You know, because Jeb was still on the ballot here. And I'm a Jebby, okay? I will always be a Jebby. But it turns out that I side mostly with Gary Johnson, okay? Who, whose positions I don't fully know. I like him, okay? And there we go. 74% libertarian, but oh, here's the embarrassing part. But I will never vote for this guy, I'm telling you right now. Donald Trump? Donald Trump does not agree with anything that I put on there. I like mostly for amnesty, for example, which is a big thing that Gary Johnson is for. I'm a big amnesty girl because the United States doesn't have enough people in it. Our biggest problem, because that's what I do for a living, um, our biggest problem is that we don't have enough people and that's why the economy stagnates and it doesn't matter what the presidential candidates offer, that we will still have the same problem until we get enough people. And so Gary is in favor of amnesty, and I am too for that reason. Um, also because I know that there's no such thing as an illegal immigrant who doesn't pay tax. Because he can't get a paycheck unless he pays tax. So I'm a, I'm a Gary Johnson girl. Oh boy. Okay, wait a minute. See if I can get back here. So I'm a Gary Johnson girl. I am nowhere near Donald Trump. I hate this guy. I hate this guy so much that I'm obsessed with it. I have to keep using 1 John 1 9 all day. And God keeps assuring me. He's always concatenating verses together in my head. And the, the, the chief one he uses besides what's a Kali Lohala, which is part of the Hebrew in Isaiah 54 1, is um, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he will give you the desires of your heart. There's no actual verse in the Bible that has all that in it. It's it's a concatenation of like hundreds of verses in the Psalms, plus Nehemiah 8.10. Okay? And I had to go look it up the first time he did that to me, which was years ago. Okay? So I need that verse to get through because I, I want this guy dead. Okay? I prayed for him to die. I literally did. I said to God, I said, I want Donald Trump dead or you wake him up. And do the same for me. That's what I told him. You can ask him yourself if, I, if I'm if i lying to you. Okay, I hate this guy. I hate everything he stands for. He's a scam, a fraud, a liar. And everything else is wrong with him. So for me to have a 73%, either something's really wrong about what they think Donald Trump's positions are, or I should shoot myself. But fortunately, Gary Johnson is first. Okay, now look. Now look. Hillary Clinton, I'm 58% like her. Well, that's good, because that's one of the reasons I took this test, because I don't know how I fit with her. I can't tell from her website what her positions really are, okay? So that's nice to know. And what's this? I'm 51% like Bernie Sanders on immigration issues, on immigration issues. With Gary Johnson, on economic, immigration, health care, environment, criminal, and education, okay? But according to this, and I... This makes absolutely no sense. He, they think I'm like Donald Trump on foreign policy, domestic policy, environmental, education, electoral, and science issues. That's not true at all. There's nothing he said that I agree with at all. So they they haven't they haven't updated their website about what this guy has said because I hate everything he stands for. Okay, so I agree with Hillary Clinton on immigration and Bernie Sanders on immigration. And Jill Stein, who's of the Green Party on immigration. There's nothing about the Green Party I agree with. So, you know, you're in for a rude awakening if you do this. Gary had said in his interview on the Hill, which you'll find in my tweet uh, list, um, at, at Brainouty. See, here here I am, at Brainouty, right here. That's me. Okay, so if you go here, you'll find pins at the top of my list the interview that Gary Johnson gave to The Hill is a really good interview. Okay, it's like 30 minutes long. He's very blunt. There's no there's no lying in this guy. 
you can argue that maybe he's not as presidential as you'd like, but he's, he's clear. You just listen to him and you know he's telling you what he's really thinking. Okay, he doesn't shade. That's one reason I like him. Okay, so you can go and, and, and watch this if you want. Again, it's on my Twitter profile page. As you can see there, twitter.com brainaudi. And then he was saying here in this in this interview that everybody should go to isidewith.com and take the test. And he said that when he took the test, he was 73% with Bernie Sanders. Okay, well, I'm kind of uh, skeptical about that because there's nothing Bernie Sanders says that I agree with except immigration. So how come that makes me 51% in favor of Bernie? Okay, I don't dislike Bernie, don't get me wrong, the person versus the position. And I don't dislike Hillary Clinton particularly. I do. I, it's her positions that I differ with her. I think she's one smart lady, and I think that she's got a lot of spunk, and I think she's been, mis she's been a, falsely accused for a very long time. I didn't used to think that. I've done a 180 degree turn on her ever since I found out about vile, disgusting, horrible, satanic, Hitlerian Trump, who I wish was dead. But that's up to God. Her, I'm starting to incline. Him, I want, except I don't know which of these two, her or him, is most pro-Israel. My vote hangs on who's most pro-Israel. Because the United States will not survive if we're not pro-Israel. Okay? Jill Stein, I'm sure she's a nice lady. I know nothing about her, but I'm not into the green thing. Because the whole global warming thing is one pile of dog duty. Okay? So, but go take, go to isidewith.com and link will be in the video description and then you can play yourself and see how surprised you're going to be. Oh, I can't wait till you're gone. Peace out. Where's the turn off thing that I can turn it off? Oh, here it is.